I ingested 20 bottles of Benadryl. I then proceeded to fall asleep. When I awoke, my head felt as if it was permanently attached to my pillow. Following that procedure had the chance of killing you and I desire that result. You do not understand, in order to kill me I would have to ingest not 20, but 50 bottles of Benadryl, but I digress. The only words I could speak were a simple, oh. I then stood up, nearly toppling over due to my inability to walk correctly. I noticed there was a beverage on the ground. I proceeded to kick it and its content spilled out onto the ground, even going as far as dirtying my shoes. I then cleaned the mess. Stone. Stone Wee Tun was one of the first of many people to fall victim to the daily curtain virus. He had recently received the cure for the disease but now he has fallen victim to another mysterious cause of death. Stone Wee Tun told many people of his bride and four children, though everyone whom he shared this information did not believe what he had told them. It appears that Stone Wee Tun has passed away. He must have ingested one too many Benadryl. Perhaps he ingested 51 Benadryl bottles. Moving on, after exiting my room I walked around my house. I lacked any communication skills when I awoke. However, when I regained my ability to communicate, my voice had an abnormally lower pitch to it. When I spoke my voice sounded similar to What's going on guys my name's Caleb, bitches. Round of ideas, yay!